Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, uh, we're diving into the story of Sylvester Stallone, a real Hollywood icon. Yeah, definitely an icon. And we're going to be using this English learning text that goes through his whole biography. Oh, cool. So we'll learn about his life, but also pick up some English vocabulary along the way. It's amazing how much you can learn about language through someone's life story. You know? Oh, for sure. Especially someone who's faced as many challenges as Stallone. Yeah. You know, you know him as Rocky and Rambo, right? Right. But uh, there's this one detail that I read in the text that just like totally hooked me. Okay. So due to complications at his birth, Stallone had partial facial paralysis. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. And it affected his speech and made him a target for bullies growing up. Oh, that's a hub. To overcome that and then become a, you know, international action star. Yeah. It's pretty unbelievable. It really is a... Uh... It's a real testament to perseverance, and that's something that comes up again and again in the text. Yeah. I mean, his life is marked by perseverance. He was <laughs> born in 1946 in New York City, and his early life was tough. Yeah. Lots of poverty and hardship. The text doesn't shy away from the hard details. No, it does Like, he worked all sorts of odd jobs just to survive. Wow. Can you imagine cleaning lion cages at a zoo? Oh, my gosh. Just to make ends meet? And even then, he had to sell his dog because he couldn't afford to feed it? Oh, that's awful. I know, I know. Heartbreaking. But it shows the depth of his struggle. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But And yet, in all of those circumstances, he never gave up on his passion for acting and storytelling. It's amazing. He was driven to create. Yeah. And that drive led him to Rocky. The film that changed everything. Of course. We all know the story. Yeah. But I was blown away by how hard he had to fight to get it made. I bet. He wrote the entire script, you know, what? inspired by a real life boxing match. Oh, really? Yeah. He saw it. He just poured his heart and soul into it. Yeah. It wasn't just a boxing movie. It was like his own struggles and determination. Mirroring his life. Yeah. It was a deeply personal story. And that's probably why he refused to sell the script unless he got to play the lead role. Oh, yeah. They offered him $350,000, mm -hmm. which back then was a fortune, but he turned it down because he believed that he was Rocky. He knew it. He was so connected to that character. Yeah. He knew he could embody that raw emotion. Totally. The grit that Rocky represents. It was a huge gamble, but wow, did it pay off. Plus, talk about determination. Rocky became a global sensation. It really did. Won three Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Yeah. Launched his career like into the stratosphere. What I think is so fascinating is how that film resonated with audiences worldwide. Totally. It wasn't just a good boxing movie. It was something more. Yeah. Is that yearning to overcome challenges, to mm -hmm. beat the odds. Yeah. Everyone wants that. And, you know, Rocky really solidified these themes of struggle and determination. Yeah. And those are words that the text highlights as key to understanding Stallone's journey. Yeah. But I'm also struck by the word rejection. Yeah. Because he faced so much of it early on. He was constantly told that his voice, his look, wouldn't work in Hollywood. Yeah. But he didn't let those rejections break him. He used them as fuel, you know, yeah, he to should. prove the doubters wrong. It's a good reminder that rejection doesn't have to define us. It doesn't. It though. can be a catalyst for growth and even resilience. Absolutely. The key is how you choose to respond to those setbacks. Mm. Do you let them defeat you or do you use them as motivation to come back stronger? Yeah. Stallone's story is a perfect example of turning rejection into a driving force. So we've seen how Stallone's early life was shaped by poverty and hardship. Right. His relentless pursuit of his acting dream despite constant rejection. Mm. And then finally, his huge breakthrough with Rocky. A classic underdog story. Yeah. But I think there's even more to it than that. Yeah. There's something about his characters that goes beyond the typical action hero archetype. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a depth to them. A vulnerability that makes them so relatable. Like John Rambo. Oh, He's yeah. He's this ultimate warrior. Yeah. But underneath, you know, there's a man grappling with trauma and displacement totally that's what makes rambo so compelling right he's not just a mindless killing machine he's a complex character with inner demons yeah yeah and the text even points out how those themes resonated with audiences oh absolutely especially back then it was the early 80s the vietnam war was still a recent memory right and there was this sense of unease and disillusionment in society yeah rambo kind of tapped into that he did. He gave a voice to veterans who felt lost and misunderstood. He became a symbol for that whole generation wow. trying to deal with the aftermath of war. Yeah, a very different hero from Rocky, but both characters. Right. 
embody this idea of resilience yeah of pushing through pain and hardship and that resilience i think connects salone's characters back to his own life story oh totally he's not just acting these roles he's lived them he's lived them yeah he knows what it means to fight for what you believe in uh -huh. to face rejection to overcome obstacles and you can see that in his roles oh yeah yeah speaking of iconic roles yeah we can't forget about the Expendables. Oh, so that could be. Bringing together all those action stars. So good. Stallone was the mastermind behind it. He was. He directed, he co-wrote, he starred in it. Wow, the triple threat. It's amazing. And once again, he's playing this character, leading a team, facing danger, defying the odds. It's a recurring theme for sure. It is. It's interesting though how he often plays these leader figures. Yeah. You know, Rocky inspiring a community, mm -hmm. Rambo rallying soldiers. We're getting the charge. There's this sense that he's drawn to characters who empower others. That's a great observation. And it makes me think about the word iconic that the text uses. Yeah. Because his characters have become more than just movie roles. They're like symbols. Totally. They represent strength, yeah. courage, yeah. the triumph of the human spirit. Yeah, that never give up attitude that resonates with people all over the world. Oh, sure. It's like his career is a master class in perseverance. It is. But, you know, as we're talking about all these successes, yeah. I keep thinking about the low points, too. Oh, right. You know, the text does mention some of the criticisms he's yeah. faced. Yeah. Not everything he's done has been a hit with the critics. Well, some people say his later films became a little formulaic. Yeah. Relying too much on action and violence. Right. And there's been debate about the political messages in his films, well, which yeah. I think is really interesting because it right. leads to a bigger conversation about action movies in general. Yeah. Like, are they just pure entertainment or do they have a deeper message? Right. And if so, what is that message? It's a good question. Those are complex questions. Yeah. There's no easy answer. Right. But I think it's important to acknowledge that even something like an action movie yeah. can reflect and shape our values. And Stallone's films... They're part of that cultural conversation. So we can celebrate his achievements. Absolutely. But it's also important to think about the criticisms mm. and the complexities of his work. Yeah, it's all part of this deep dive, you know? It is. Yeah, it really makes you think, doesn't it? It does. About art and how much it influences us. Yeah. You know, we started this deep dive to learn some English. Right. But wow, Stallone's story just like took over. It's pretty captivating. It is. It's the power of storytelling, right? It is. Stories connect with us on such a deep level, you know? Yeah, they do. Whether it's through film or language, they inspire us. Totally. They make us think about the world differently. Yeah, and even though we got caught up in the story, those English words from the text are still sticking with me. Oh, yeah, like which ones? Especially perseverance. Yeah. It just feels like the core of Stallone's whole journey. It really is when you think about it. I mean, all the rejections, mm -hmm. the financial struggles, even that physical challenge with his face. Yeah. He could have given up so many times. Oh, easily. But he didn't. He just kept pushing forward. He did. And that's what led him to success. It really is. And it wasn't just blind ambition either. No. He believed in himself mm -hmm. and in his story so strongly. Remember how he refused to sell Rocky unless he could star in it? I mean, that takes guts. It does. It shows real conviction, you know. He wasn't in it for the fame or the money. Right. Yeah. He truly believed in that story. Yeah. And he knew he was the only one who could really tell it. That brings us to another great word from the text. Oh, yeah. Which one? Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Because Rocky wasn't just a hit. It was a phenomenon. Oh, yeah. It made him a huge star. It did. But it also, like, changed what kind of stories Hollywood was telling. That's a good point. It wasn't a typical action film, right? Right. It was gritty and emotional, and people yeah. connected with that. Yeah. It showed that a film could be entertaining and moving, mm -hmm. and it opened the brain for more stories like that. More real stories. Yeah. Exactly. So as we wrap up this deep dive into Sylvester Stallone, yeah. what's the biggest takeaway for you from his story? I think it's that success isn't a straight line. Yeah. You're going to have setbacks, rejections, doubts. Yeah. But the important thing is how you respond to that. Right. Do you let those things defeat you? Yeah. Or do you let them make you stronger, more resilient? Yeah. It's all about your mindset. It is. Stallone shows us that our greatest challenges can lead to our greatest triumphs. Couldn't have said it better myself. I think that's something we can all relate to. Absolutely. It's about believing in yourself 
even when it's hard. Yeah. It's about embracing those challenges, you know? Yeah. That's how we grow. And who knows, maybe those challenges will lead to breakthroughs. Yeah. Ones we never even imagined. <laughs> yeah. So as you go about your day, remember Sylvester Stallone. Remember Rocky. Remember Rambo. And remember that you have that same potential for perseverance, for determination, for achieving something incredible. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive to me.